Y'all got to know your lanes. Y'all got to know who you're talking to. Y'all got to know who, what, what the essence of your speak is about. Y'all hear this black community idea and y'all think it's coming from one force. Half them can't stand each other, to be quite honest. Half them. Uh, y'all seen how that happened when it started debating. Uh, they all fighting for your attention. They all have this egotistical super saver nigga. You need to be absolutely clear. The only person you can absolutely save is yourself. The true teacher only can give you the tools for you to go on your own automatic pilot. You know what I'm saying? And again, from what I teach, and again, like I said, I, I want to make this clear. I'm not taking away from anything and anybody who teaches on whatever level because we all need we all need it at a certain level. But y'all need to stop sitting there and, and just wanting to hear people repeat over and over. And keep hearing these people spill. That is actually doing it for you to graduate. Ain't that what you go to regular white schools to eventually do? How long are you gonna stay in the eighth grade and act like you deep? How long are you gonna stay in high school and act like you're deep? You're supposed to graduate. Most people that fuck with me graduate. There's so many people that fucked with me hard back in the days. They don't now. They've gotten what they want. Some people don't want to spend a lifetime doing this shit. They just get what they want. And, and that's how it's supposed to be. I've met graduates. You know what I'm saying? And I guess if someone wants to hang around because they like hanging around, that's fine too. But something internally, I would be so frustrated if I'm fucking with you and I'm not going to that next level. When I fucked with Bobby Hammond, I went to the next level irregardless of me and him had conversations after the fact. We had conversations because he's seen, I believe, the aggression that was that was in my ass. You know, he would say things constantly like, I've been giving out that book for years, niggas ain't fuck with that. Because you get frustrated, and I see why now, when you've made it plain and you've given it out, and the bulk of who you fuck with is still talking about some shit from before. You know what I'm saying? Still from scratch. See, I've learned not to let that fuck with me. What's the next level, Cos Magus? You need to find that and, defi and, and define it for yourself. See, that's my exact point. When a nigga asks, what is the next level? You're asking me to define it for you? For real? Or is that general? Because to me, that's fucking stupid. The next, the next level is you licking a donkey's ass. Now, why don't you begin? The next level is, is something you're supposed to define for yourself, not when the moon turns blue. That's the point of what you're hearing right now. That's the point of what you're hearing right now. You know what I'm saying? The next point is for you to have an, to be on automatic pilot, for you to have internal questions that you need. Why did you come to earth then? Why did you come to earth? For me to answer your questions? For Bobby Hammond to answer your questions? Dr. Africa to answer your questions? No, they're supposed to be helping you through their expertise to find a way for you to even ask questions of yourself. That's what they're supposed to be doing. Get authors giving you ways to ask questions of yourself because you previously didn't remember the questions to ask them. You just knew you wanted to know. That's the idea. What's the next level? You define it. And then when you're done with the levels here, you're dead. It's like asking Mario, what's the next level? Whatever. When soon did you get soon did you get to King Cooper, motherfucker? You there? Did you go through the pipes? Did you fly? Did you have a mushroom? Whatever, nigga. It's not for the next man to define. Or it is also not for the moon to, to define. And your ability not being able to talk should be not for Mercury in retrograde. I thought you created all of that. So you don't know that the, either the cheat codes or how to supersede your own creation, a duh.
And of course you don't. That's the idea of becoming human, but that's the path you're walking back towards. And that's that's your own path. You're asking the next man to walk your path. You're asking the next man to walk your path. That's not a good way of being. But that's what you guys got sucked into. Starting one with religion and then the conscious movement was to break that to break that chain. But then when people start to see it's harder to break you out of the mind control and easier to buy into it with new symbols. Eh? Eh? You get it? It's harder to break the mind control, but much easier. We're at 777. Doom, 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 doom. 777 people in the room. It's harder to break the mind control because they don't even understand it in themselves, but easier to buy into it as an agent provocateur or someone who just says, fuck it. I can't save them. They won't save themselves. Even though I lay out all these tools, it's easier to tell them what they want to hear. Because when you tell them what they want to hear, they go into their own pockets for you. You make them feel good. See, if I say shit that makes you feel good, my cash app goes up. That's church. That's where you learned it from. You learned that from church. He says what makes it feel good. As soon as he sees in your eyes that frenzy, that alpha state where that mouth opens and them eyes widen up, that's when you pass that collection plate around. Ooh, brother. Thank you. You like oh, yeah. 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 You see, see, why am I, see, see, why wasn't it divine? <laughs> Thanks, TJ. You are. Got me some slices. Yeah. Mm, buddy. I was telling people niggas can't get well, no, nah, I'll keep on the subject. That fucking pizza boy. New York boy, that shit got me under mind control with pizza. All right. So the blue moon, if you find something, and it feels good, do it. But if you feel an obligation, and this is some once in a lifetime thing, then you actually fell under the mind control. I'm waiting for an event and event and someone to tell you what event for you to do some shit. Now, there are certain events that if you can decode are indicate are indications of things that are happening in you, for instance, like Beetlejuice. But look at the average, average Christian and shit, fuck that for the average nigga in the so-called conscious community. If you don't work with the energy, it doesn't mean nothing. Life goes on and on and on and on again. And then you'll be living enough, another lifetime waiting for another fucking, the moon is purple today. Before you realize that's not, that's not the only thing. None of this matters in case if you can't utilize it. See what it is, you think you are saved just because you you have melanin. Contraire mon frere. I'm saying it takes a lot for your car to run, not just having a car. You need gas, you need uh wheels, a steering wheel, seats. All of these things that you have to get together as a whole before you can go anywhere. So that's like somebody saying, what's, what's the next level? Well, when you get in your car that's working, you, you want me to tell you where to drive as well? I'm just trying to get you in a working car. And that's what any teacher should be trying to do, 
get you in something that works. And and you're not you're just admiring all of this shit because that's really all you're going to do. Admire the moon. And if you light a candle or do whatever that you may have learned, well, good. If you could if you're making something work for you, like, for instance, for years, I heard about reverse candles. And it's obvious what they do. You know, and you know niggas, oh, they fucking with me. Don't let me light my candles and reverse them on y'all niggas. Reverse candles, da, 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 da. So what I did was, early on in the uh, 2000s, when they were going crazy over the 9-11 anniversaries and everybody was still lighting white candles. I just got reverse candles then to try to get the energy of everybody who was lighting the candles to come my way. So instead of all that energy going to 9-11 niggas, how about I get some of that energy myself? That's how you serve yourself. That's the next level. That type of creative thinking. So now the only thing left to do is to do it to see if you can yield results. And oh, yes, I did. That night, all I heard was thousands of people calling out their names. My name is such and such. So what I knew, which is what you can speculate, that the ritual and the people dying, they were able to entrap them in the astral world. The astral world is a part of this world. It could be div- it could be heaven or hell. That's the true heaven or hell. It depends on your mind because your mind is running it. So when you go to the astral world, you have nothing but your mind. If you think you're going to hell and it's burning and it's an inferno, oh, yeah. But see, when you feel that, you're able to come back to Earth and you will. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're ignorant or whatever. Now, they're entrapped because they don't know no better. They're victimized. They are the same mentality as you niggas talking about, oh, the moon is blue. Okay, I guess we're doing some hot shit tonight and don't know what to do. They're just being led around by what people tell them. So when planes hit, not out of some sort of, out of some orchestrated event, they don't know what to do. Calling their family, this is it. Believing in that bullshit they were told, have no way of empowering themselves, not prepared themselves for any form of death. Don't know shit about ancestors, pretty much, or whatever you want to call it. And And they go wherever they are directed to go. And therefore, they are directed to uh, by people who understand what I'm teaching you now. So when I did the reverse ritual, I heard them all trying to get recognition because they have no self-identity in the astral world. That's the ritual. That day, that that day, I also got my. Um, spirit, uh, soul name. So I yielded results by doing my own thing. That's the next level. So if I would did the moon ritual, I would just lit reverse candles for when somebody was bothering me. That's the regular norm. That's the keyboard playing by the book. But when you start going into the chaos, I, or the creative aspect of things, you yield a whole different understanding. And it has nothing to do with the community. It has everything with your confidence and how to keep doing those spiritual calisthenics till you have full grown muscles. You understand? You're not doing that. Just repeating about the moon Remember the red moon, the blood moon. Remember the moon was close. 
Remember the moon was closest. To, now it's supposed to be closest and and this and that, the other thing. Listen. It's never ending. That's one of the things I noticed. And let me tell you how I made that mistake. I might need to hear this. When 2012 was approaching, I'm like, oh, it's going to be a thing. It's going to be the end of the end and the be all the end all 2012. We're going to do this. Da, 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 da. Um, all the rest of that shit, right? And then when 2012 came, nothing really happened. Um. What did everybody say? All these divine teachers that you fuck with? Well, it's not really 2012. The Ethiopian calendar says, the Kemetic calendar, which all may be very true. But then when I talked to Bobby about it, here's what he said. You ever notice I don't do that shit? Start putting all my eggs in an event. He said, because we did that. Or you might have said they were doing that. For Y2K. And the lecture circuit, after nothing happened in 2000, got dead. He said he he was doing four lectures or six lectures a month. He was down to one lecture a month. It was over. It got, and that was the point of eye opener with Brother Shabazz, they kind of put a new energy in it and started it again to where it is when you see Bobby at that uh that that when you see him in that the place with all the, in that auditorium speaking. Now what he's pretty much saying is events come and go constantly. There's a a, a meteorite and you can see this in the sky and that in the sky. All of that is happening internally. It's internal indications. But if you're doing no internal work, you're just you're actually ignoring it. Even though you see it with these eyes, you're ignoring it with this eye. And this is the eye that that actually benefits from. If you're seeing it with this eye, it's trying to indicate what's happening. That star system is nothing more than you're in a planetarium. There's no vast place out there. Again, if you're going to understand and co-sign that Earth is an illusion, that you're in Maya, then how could any of that shit out there be real? This whole thing is happening inside of you. That whole solar system that you're seeing or that whole universe or galaxies that you that you were told that you're supposed to be seeing actually exist in your third ventricle. And again, if you look in Dr. Africa's book, of course, he has a picture of the inside of your third ventricle where you can see the uh, Sirius star system in your own head. So if anybody's gone to a planetarium before, you uh, understand that you're sitting in a dome and the universe is being projected above your head, but you're in one room. You're in that, you're having that same experience. The one room is your own mind. And you have to understand when they say the mind is all, that's what you're worried about. They don't say the mind is all, but wait till the moon turns blue. Think about that for a second. All of these things could actually be tools, but that same tool, a hammer, can be used to bang you upside your head and kill you. And it could also be used to build a house. And somebody said, no Pepsi tonight. I gotta get to, I got I gotta get this water in uh, uh, a little bit later. Uh, uh, and then when, or if I say a screwdriver, I may be used to build with a screwdriver or use that screwdriver to, to stab or take apart. Screwdriver goes both ways. You could bang a hammer in, you could bang a nail in with a hammer, but on the other side of the hammer, it has it has the object to take hammer, uh, the nail out. Tools go both ways. So a blue moon could be a tool. 
that either builds or can destroy you. 